Hi everybody, it's welcome back to the Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris back with the Rand Stroke thought of the day. Quick one, this really, uh, probably slightly delayed in terms of when it actually happens. It's all about Jack Grealish and what Jack Grealish said in a post-match interview after the England game the other day. Uh, and I've got to applaud him. Um, we've criticised Jack, Jack Grealish on this channel before for having too much drink, um, certainly when it comes to the Miggy Almiron situation. But that was different. That was about respecting your fellow professional. Jack's been getting some stick. Uh, because of the celebration that he's been going through with the Manchester City treble, which is just ridiculous, really, in my opinion. I think the lads basically completed club football. He's he's enjoyed it. Him and his teammates have enjoyed it. They've um, you know they've they've, they've they've achieved something fantastic. They've achieved something that hasn't been done since 1999 by the rivals over defence. And I'm sure a lot of the salt coming Jack's way is from those in red. Um, but he came out after the England game and credit to him actually said, you know, I played football for like you know, 12 months straight, you know, amount of games that I've played and, you know, I enjoyed myself and, you know, give us a break. And I really applaud Jack for saying that, to be honest with you, because I think quite often people think that footballers are a robot or some kind of AI that just, you know, aren't human beings that, that don't need to go and celebrate and don't have those, those feelings of utter adulation when they've achieved something phenomenal. Um, but sadly, the world is full of little fuckwits who are going to try and pull people down that are, are basically successful and, and have achieved way more than these sad little wanks will ever achieve in their entire life. Um, and that's what they do. That's why they come after them, you know. And it's just pointless, really. I didn't go after Jack Grealish. I thought it was it was great to see. You know, he, he, is, he is Jack the lad, isn't he? I suppose in many ways he he's just like, any one of us, really, if we achieve something massive, whether you got a huge promotion at work, or whether you, you know, whether you're on your stag do, you're about to get married, or whatever, or whether you, you know, you're celebrating your birthday, you you go out and get a few beers and you get a bit smashed, don't you? That's just kind of what people do. Certainly, what they do in Britain. So I don't see why anyone's so surprised about it. But but because he's a professional athlete. Everyone's giving him shit about it. There was no more club football to play. You know, England didn't have a problem. He he came to the England camp. He come on the other day. He did quite well. You know, he was skinning players. He was looking good. He was doing what Jack Grealish does. I think in many ways, people are so desperate to make Jack Grealish the new Gaza. That they focus so much on the fact that he likes a bevy in his spare time. So fuck, what's wrong with that? You know, that he's just a human being. You know, he's <laughs> everyone likes, well, not everyone, but a lot of people like a drink in, in their spare time. It doesn't mean you're an alcoholic or anything like that. You know I mean? Gaza, if you remember... Um, was was railroaded by the press. Um, in many ways, they they probably have a responsibility for Gaza having so many demons and so many issues that he has or he has had and going the way that he did. You know the amount of shit they wrote about him in the press and had people following him and tapping his phone and all sorts of bollocks. You know, making him a paranoid mess and probably made him reach for a drink more more to kind of steady his nerves. Really, so a lot of these gutter ball twats have uh, got a lot to answer for when it comes to Gaza. But it's not trying to make Jack Greenish Gaza. He's not Gaza. You know, Gaza in this modern day age of football would probably be like Jack Grealish. You know, he would be this, you know, honed athlete, you know, who plays 40, 50 games a season, but likes a bevy in the spare time, you know, and that, that, what's wrong with that? Do you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. As long as it doesn't affect his performance on the pitch, you can't say he's a bad role model. He does fantastic things for charity and, you know, kids with cerebral palsy and everything like that. Some of the stuff you see in Jack Grealish do off the pitches is, uh, is brilliant. A lot more than a lot of other uh, players do. So, you know, give the guy a break, as he rightly says, you know, I'm, I've got no problem with it. I don't see why anybody else would have a problem with it. I think you just need to really get a life and, and stop giving the guy a hard time. But mainly the video was to say massive credit to Jack for coming out and saying that. I think it's really refreshing to hear footballers just being honest, you know, and just saying, fucking hell, you know, ease off, give us a break, mate. You know, I'm allowed a beer once in a while. Fuck me. You know, so big respect to Jack for that. Top lad, keep doing what you're doing, mate. Just don't slag me off again or we'll have to come on and do another video. So that's me done with that. This is the kind of thing you like. Smash subscribe, like the video, help get it on YouTube, help the channel get the full. Okay, we're close, and we'll see you next time for another thought of the day. Cheers now, bye.